Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. So today we are going to do a Jenga block uh, glue gun stand, which is also going to hold a couple other things. Um, this is my glue gun stand. Um, it's not, it's not very pretty, is it? Uh, and then I have another basket on the side that's full of stuff that I don't use half the time and it just looks not very good. So I want something to look pretty. If I'm going to have my glue gun stand right beside me, I want it to look pretty. So we are going to do a couple different things, uh, with this stand and it's pretty option. Like you can change the, the length of it, but I'll show you that later in the video. We are going to use the Jenga blocks tumbling tower from Dollar Tree. Uh, Wellbond, you can buy it at Hobby Lobby, Rona, Lowe's, um, I, that's what some other crafters told me. I'm in Canada. I know some of you crafters use some, uh, wood glue at DT in Canada. Here we don't have it. It's not in any of our sections and I've looked for over a year. So I just use this one and it works really well. I do not suggest unless you're gluing on a couple pieces to use a glue gun. Um, it won't hold and it'll eventually fall apart. It'll be easier to break. So I would not suggest using a glue gun. Now you're going to need an L shape carpenter ruler. You can buy this at DT in the automotive section. Uh, works really good when you're gluing your blocks together to make sure that they're nice organized. Uh, before I get, I get a lot of questions uh recently on my youtube channel here that everybody asked me where my mat is my mat is just a desk mat from ikea i think it's like 5.99 it's an awesome mat to work on i got a couple and then i got some i got another one underneath and some cutting boards so i don't ru ruin my nice wood table um really good to take stuff off them you can take glue if they're in more and bigger chunks and if you get paint it's easy to wipe off and as well, if you can't get some of the stain, I've gotten some stain on here. I've just used one of the DT buffers and the stain comes out. All right, so we're gonna start and we're gonna glue a row of nine. We're gonna start with the base. The base is gonna be a total of 90 blocks. We are doing a longer one. Now you can improvise, like I said, I can show you at the end of the video where you can take it down if you don't wanna make it as big. Um, I want it to look pretty. So start with nine blocks right over one another and you're just going to glue them like this and you're going to need another 10 rows so it's just going to be almost like a long bowling alley once we have that and i'm just going to pull because if you've watched my videos before you know i glue everything beforehand as much as i can because it's a lot easier so you're gonna have a nice long row like this and it's gonna be of 90 blocks. Once we do that, we're gonna start on the very back end. We're gonna have the glue gun here. We're gonna start at the back end. So we're gonna start with the taller part and we're just gonna kind of make it go kind of like, a, I guess steps down if you wanna call it. So we're gonna need, we're gonna do exactly the same thing again going to need nine blocks but you're going to do three rows this time and that's going to be 27 blocks I'm just going to put it here guys I'm just going to check my camera to make sure that you can see it now they're probably going to fall over and I'm just going to use stuff to hold it as we go along so that will be on the back end now on the sides We are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do nine, but you're going to do two rows. So that will be 18, but you're going to need two of them. And that's going to go over here and you're going to see me probably try to get something to keep them up as we go along. And then the other one will come to this side. Now we're going to do a front part, the front to back. And I would suggest when you're doing this is maybe taking a pen and paper, writing them down because it can be a little bit confusing. 
We're going to do another row of nine in three, session, three sections, and that's going to be exactly like the back. So you're kind of like you're making um, a square box. Now when you're doing it, because I am know what I'm going to cut paint it, but I am going to be doing stain. So if you switch it the other way, it still works, but when you stain it here, it goes a lot darker. So just make sure when you have put them on in the back that you see the, th the three sides as opposed to all the ends because it'll look a lot nicer. You will see it on the sides, but the, the, back, the top part, we want it to look pretty. So then we're just gonna go like that. And I'm hoping these are not gonna fall in. I'm going to stick something in there. So now we're gonna carry on to the next set of blocks. I have them all labeled here, so. You're gonna need six right on top of each other and you're gonna need two of those. So that is 12. We're going to do the upright on the side, right like that. Next part, we're going to need the front. You're going to need six, and you're going to need three sections, like that. And you're going to put it right in front there. So now you have a little area there. The next little section you're gonna need four now you're gonna need three sections of these four glued together and you're going to put one there you're gonna put one there and you are going to put one there now the front part Going to need another four with three sections glued to one piece. And that one is just going to sit right in front. Actually, when I'm looking at this, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Jenga block sleigh that I did. So once you have that section, as you can see, this one's taller. And then you go a little bit lower. And then the lowest part. Now, I'm... Make sure that the very end is centered at the very end of the left side. And I'm going to glue those on before we move on forward. All right, now that we got it all glued together, uh, it's looking pretty good so far. And right here, just on the corners, I just used my file uh, just to take off the pointy edges that you don't scrape yourself when you're grabbing something. And... What we're going to do is use a chopper scraper from DT. I'll take the sticker off after. We're going to stick it here. I'm not going to glue it down. Only reason being when your hot glue is on there and then you have um, like the droplets and stuff like that, especially with metal, if you stick it in the freezer and it's a little bit bendable, I'm sure all the hot glue will pop off. If you don't have one of these, you can use one of those. DT has those little... Uh, silicone mats but i just thought the silver will look nice because i am going to do it um a stain a gel stain now to hold the glue gun we're going to take three jenga blocks times two just upright like this we're going to glue them right on top of each other and they're just going to go right here so you just want to make sure that you have enough room like i said if you want to do what i'm going to do you can glue this down if you want uh, and you just want to give it a little space so once this is glued down that it's not too tight to take out. Now, my glue gun here has that little lift on it to keep it up. But I am just going to add, I have the wire stuck over here. Um, I am going to just add some side to it onto here. That's giving me a hard time. This wire is pulling. There we go. On either side, I'm just going to add another three. So I did say that this was going to be 240. So I'm going to add six more blocks. So it'll be 260. 
I'm just gonna add it right on the end. It's not gonna be super tight because I don't plan on keeping this glue gun forever. I plan on looking into maybe uh, a cordless one because I don't like the cords. But for now, this is gonna just work out perfect. I can't wait to get to uh, use this and declutter over here. What we're gonna do next is this. But first, I am going to glue these on and then I'm going to paint it. I'm just gonna use a gel stain. It's the dark walnut. Um, I've used it on a couple of my Jenga block crafts and I really like this gel stain. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna start up here decorating. All right, so now that I finished painting it, I think it turned out really great so far. I haven't taken the sticker off the scraper chopper yet. I will do that after. So in the back part, in the front two pockets here, I am gonna do some tools that I use quite often with um, the glue sticks and some other tools. In the back is why I made it bigger in the back is I just thought it would be really nice to have something pretty since you're always gonna have it beside you, especially if you craft a lot and you use hot glue. And I thought it would look really awesome if it had flowers. It can be interchangeable. You could put a glass vase in here with some fresh flowers if you want. Um, also, I'm gonna do succulents today, but even with, um, in like different seasons and holidays, I had these that I bought, I bought a couple of them from Michael's and they were like 50 cents on clearance. And I thought you could even do a Christmas ones with little presents or Christmas balls. I think it would be super cute to decorate for each season and you get to see it when you work with your glue gun and beside on your work desk. So are you gonna use the floral foam in here behind? And I just have some extra floral foam in the packet here that I'm just gonna stick in between. Now, I just have a basket of succulents. I'm gonna play around off camera like I always do and just figure a few that I'm gonna like in the back. And then I'm just gonna use some DT White Rocks once I'm done, I'll flip the camera around upright and you can see it from the side. All right, guys, so here it's all done. I just think it looks so awesome. If your glue gun has a little bit of wiggle room, you could also put a few uh, Dollar Tree wood cubes, but I'm okay with it just because I have that little latch on the front of my glue gun. Like I said, this is reversible. So when you get too much glue, you could stick it in the freezer and I'm sure the glue is going to pop right off it. I have the glue sticks. I have a lot of the stuff that I use quite often in here. And I just think with the white, it really pops the color of the green succulents. And I just can't wait to place it where I'm gonna have it. I'd show you guys, but it's a little bit disaster. I gotta clean up after my crafting today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Happy crafting. See you soon. Bye.